Every church that's represented, amen. And I, this is this is the hardest part of the whole thing to try to moderate the service. And I told my wife coming down the road, I, I'm uh, I'm really nervous. I mean, I'm as nervous as was if I was preaching to me. And she said, just let the Holy Ghost lead. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I know we've got a lot of singers here. If I don't pick you, don't get don't get hurt at me. I'm just gonna try to follow the Spirit tonight. Amen. amen. So we're here to worship. Amen. 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 Family on the bus, come sing. Uncle Bob, I just got saved a while back. We wanted to sing, we wanted to. Amen. So pray for them tonight, take them seven. Come on, boys.
I had it in my spirit for tonight. I was going to preach it on yesterday, but God had it in my spirit for tonight. And maybe the Lord tonight will help somebody. I won't be before you this long. You know, we're in a real revival. And the people of God's pray. They saw God. You don't have to preach long enough. I can remember some of the greatest meetings I was in. And people getting saved. I just, the more than I get started, I'll just go right to the altar call. Amen. And folks would be birthed, Brother Nathan, into the family. Amen. That's what I heard to see tonight. In Ruth chapter 1, the Bible said in verse number 6, Ruth chapter 1 and verse number 6, it said, Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she may return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab how the Lord had visited his people and given them bread. Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her. And they went on the way and returned unto the land of Judah. And Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law, Go return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as ye have dealt with the dead and with me. And the Lord grant you that you may find rest, each of you, in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. Notice that. They both cried. He said, And they said unto her, Surely we will return with thee unto thy people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters, way that you will go with me. He said, Are there not more sons in my womb that, that, that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters, go your way. For I'm too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband also tonight, and should have also bear sons, would you tarry for them till they were grown? Would you stay for them from having husbands? Nay, my daughters, for it grieveth me much for your sakes. Then the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again. Now I want you to notice that. They cried again. They're crying again. And Oprah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. That's all that I want to read tonight. And I appreciate you for standing. And I want to preach on the phone tonight. She cried, but she went the wrong way. Amen. Amen.
Oprah's crying. Yeah. Ruth's crying. And they just keep on walking. They keep on going. And she looks back again. And she says, just go on back. Just go on back. I was on the yard the other day when the Lord showed me this. And when I seen this, I felt like the Lord let me come in the roof shoes or come in the Naomi shoes. Amen. Finally, amen, Oprah, I give in. Amen. I'm going to let you in on the test tonight. I'm a preaching to the Oprahs in this church tonight. Said the Ruth. 
Amen. Naomi looked at her and said, hey, like the other sister in law did. Come back. Come back. And she said, if it please you, then I'm not well with thee. And the other church has got something, amen. I'm to show the people that's lost.